research analyst for Gartner in the semiconductor group. Uh, today, for the next 45 minutes, I will take you through some of the thoughts that we have in regards to the cloud computing and the way that cloud computing is reshaping the IT landscape and how that impacts the semiconductor content that is used uh, within the um, IT infrastructure. Uh, first and foremost, let me draw an analogy here for those of us in the semiconductor area. Uh, the cloud movement uh, from uh, what currently we know uh, as an IT that is in the enterprise world to the cloud-based services is nothing new for semiconductors. Most semi-vendors are familiar with the past where a semiconductor company had to have a fab in order uh, to do operations. And today, most of the semiconductor vendors are fabless, and most of that fabrication has moved to the um, fab houses. So the analogy here is the cloud is almost the same, where the IT is moving to an outside vendor, and it's going to be provided as a service. So let us take a look at some of the perspectives that will uh, be impacted by the cloud. Of course, we can see that revenue models will be changing. Uh, the BPO delivery will be changing. IT outsourcing will become a model uh, that will follow the industrialization model. ASB, software as a service, and next generation services will be built around cloud. And online computing and storage will become a predominant way of doing computing uh, as we move forward. So if we look at the impact of the cloud, what are the revenue model impacts? It's a shift of delivery of IT best services from a direct payment to an advertisement supported. That phenomenon is already seen. If you look at the public cloud, uh, on the private cloud, uh, we potentially are seeing cases where the enterprises will be able to subsidize some of the cost of their IT with the usage of the commercials and advertisements. The BPO delivery and non proprietary method of delivery of business process services in common, um, IT outsourcing and industrialization, a mean of exploiting the uh, IT outsourcing as a service and a, having a much wider scale, uh, uh, that would be something that the cloud would enable, and the ASP SaaS uh, reduction of our, so what we're looking at is a further stage in the evolution of these services. And of course, online compute and storage is a delivery method of cost-effective shared access on a lower end of IT resources. So uh, optimally, we were going to have models looking at this that are um, either subsidized or lower cost, and the users can enjoy those cost benefits. So let us take a look at how big is the cloud, because, of course, from a perspective of uh, understanding the scope of this, we'll have to understand what are the business opportunities and how big it is. Uh, today, as we look at it, cloud-based uh, advertisement has reached its optimal levels, and it is forecasted for us to, uh, by Gartner to be reaching $80 billion in 2013. This is probably one of the fastest-growing areas, uh, which is via advertisement. A lot of the cloud services are being subsidized, and hence many of the equipment that we see deployed out there that will leverage the semiconductors that the semiconductor vendors are providing are being used in this kind of environment. So, First and most importantly, let us take a look at a Gartner's definition of cloud computing and the critical attributes, and from there, drive down to the impacts on each and every single segment. So first and foremost, important attribute is service-based. So the consumer concerns are abstracted from the provider's concern through service interfaces. This is a service-based uh, environment, and we're going to be... Secondly, it's scalable and elastic, so it's a service scale on demand to add or remove the resources, so you pay for what you use and what you do not use. You relinquish the usage, and you will not pay for it. And next is shared. Services are shared through a pool of resources to build economies of scale. That's really important, one of the most important areas here, and metered by use, so you pay for what you use. Uh, you do not have things just uh, uh, standing around and not, uh, you know, 
uh, paying for what you do not need. And of course, it has to be uh, internet technology. That's the media that you would reach out to the cloud. So as a whole definition, Gartner defines cloud computing as a style of computing where scalable and elastic IT-related capabilities are provided as a service keyword, to external customers using Internet technology. So that's encompassing the five key attributes we've identified uh, that justifies the uh, cloud. So today we're going to be looking at a few key issues uh, in respect to the uh, semiconductor world. And one of the first and foremost is how will the areas of computing, com communication, and storage be impacted by cloud technology? And to drive down to the semiconductor level, what are the key criteria for the semiconductors of the future that are going to be used in the cloud? And then we're going to be looking at what will the market impact be on major 